Things got real interesting late in this one. The Oilers opened up a 2-0 lead for the third straight game. It went back and forth from there, with the Kings scoring the tying goal with less than 10 seconds remaining, or so they thought. The Oilers challenged for goaltender interference, which went the way of Edmonton and resulted in a 4-3 victory. Doughty again, one last shot, shoots, Talbot the save. Now hold on here. They're going to take a look at this. After review, we got the puck completely over the line, oh. so we got a goal. Following the coach's challenge issue by the Situation Room, there was goaltender interference. This is no goal. Uh, you, you summed it up perfectly. It was a little wild there. Um, like we could have uh, made it a little, little easier on ourselves and um, you know, close it out uh, earlier or don't, don't let it get to that bad. No, for sure anymore because you, you know, it's you're at the the whim of the the league, the referees, and and whoever's making those decisions. Um, I wasn't sure it was over the line, to tell you the truth, because the puck was laying flat. But then uh, we talked about it on the bench. If it was going to be called a goal, we wanted to challenge it right away for goaltender interference. As it turns out, it was. I knew we pushed my pad over over the goal line, but, I mean, you never know. I mean, that's uh, that one could go either way. I mean, I, when the puck's loose and stuff like that, it's not like I had it covered, so you never know if you're going to get that call or not. So... Uh, you know, we we're fortunate enough to get that one and, and get a big win. Dreisaitl's goal was his seventh in his last 11 games. Michael Camilleri had three assists against his former club. This is the Oilers' first win at the Staples Centre since November of 2011. Edmonton continues this road trip in Anaheim tomorrow at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Chris Westcott, Oilers TV.